This retro hatchback is the Charmand 1104B. It's based on the 1990 Renault Clio. I have to say it does look really, really cool. It's nice to have a European hot hatchback, um, kind of like retro hot hatch in the game. This mod actually is a revamped version of an old mod um, and the creator of this mod has brought it back to life so you can play it in modern versions of BeamNG. And we're going to take it for a little drive around Italy. The interior looks as good as the exterior. Um, you can see these old kind of like textured seats. They do look pretty cool. We've got all the dials that work perfectly. Do the, are there anything like, yeah, there you go, working good. There's no indicator noise. And to be honest, the engine noise is a bit weird and only coming through like my right ear which is a bit weird, so we're just going to drive in the exterior view for now. This is the 1200. It's an automatic, kind of like a lower mid-range version. We're going to be driving some more interesting hot hatches later. But yeah, this mod was originally released about five years ago, and Dummy1102 has uh, taken it upon themselves to update and improve this mod so you can play it in the latest versions of BeamNG. Thank you very much for the people that um, recommended this mod. In my Discord server, if you click the link down below in the description, there's a link to my Discord server and you can suggest mods for me or any game you'd like me to play in the suggestions channel. So yeah, now the first thing we've got to do is quickly just drive around this town, see how it handles. Does it handle like a little hot hatch? Yeah, look at that, it clings onto the road pretty well. A little bit of understeer. Whoa! I mean, it's automatic gearbox isn't perfect, is it, really? You'd want, you'd want, you'd want a manual if you had a little hot hatchback. But um, we're going to crash into a wall now because we always do that to see how the crash physics are. Oh, here we go. Yeah, pretty good. I'd expect the body to do... Oh my goodness. The Yeah, that would kill you, wouldn't it? The engine has come right through the body and gone into the passenger compartment. That is not a safe thing to happen. Um, that's what manufacturers want to avoid. Well, look at those rear lights. They're kind of blue. Anyway, so because this is based on a Renault Clio, We've got lots of different variants, including some hot hatch versions. But first of all, let's have a look at the 1100 Ricer. Here we go. Performance, can we see that? Have they got different performance stats? Yeah, so 69 horsepower um, and top speed of 90. Here we go. Here's the Ricer. Now it's pink. It's got a lot of rust on it. It's taking a while to load. Looks like the head gasket is blown. Oh, listen to that. What's the interior look like? Oh, wow. Look at this. Yeah, that engine... Oh, it's died. Okay, so don't rev it too much. Don't rev it too much. Now, something it says on the mod page is that if you press E, the car flies. Oh my goodness, it, yeah, okay. If you press E, the car flies. Whoa. So this car can literally fly, which is kind of odd. Now, how long can we keep this car going? Just don't rev it too much, basically. There's second. We're still going. Yeah, it's working well. Third. The engine just seems to die, so we need to be really careful. I like this kind of view, this dashboard, dash cam. Yeah, love it. I wish uh, more cars had this view, actually. Can we zoom it out a bit, make it kind of wide angle? Oh, yeah! Gives a real sense of speed when you go into wide angle view. Ooh. It handles really well. What are the brakes like? Well, no anti lock brakes, so we do kind of slide around. Here we go, we're going to go to Portino, I think. Or is this um, Fastello? I can't remember the name of all the towns on Italy. Whoa. So if you don't. Ooh, there's flame. Look at that. There's flames down the side. Kind of a cool decal there. Look at that. That's cool. Let's press E a little bit. Let's get up to some speed. Oh, yeah. Let's do the jump. Uh-oh. Whee! And into the forest. Oh. Bang. Right, we're going to reset. I think we caught on fire then. Um, and we're going to drive the... What have we done? So the 1100 is just a basic one with steel wheels. You can use this one for apparently junkyards. So you can put this as like a little static object. Um, oh, I should have chosen the manual. Why didn't I choose the manual? Um, but we're going to do the all-wheel drive Revell with the Stig. So the Revell has a stiffer suspension, larger wheels and tyres, and a lot more powerful engine, 106 horsepower. So this has got the Stig, front top gear. Kind of a cool feature. We've got a dummy in the car 
So we can see how he um, reacts, I suppose, in a crash. We can go into the head, look. Ah, camera. There we go. Oh, that's weird. I can't actually see anything, so we're not going to do that. Onboard stig view. Here we go. I saw the road up here. Here it is. Right. Reset. Let's go. Is it a Ravel? Oh, it's pretty quick and it has a nice sounding engine. Stiffer suspension, probably not brilliant for these off-road um, areas of the map. Oh, we're back where we started. Great. Well done, me. Always going around in a circle. Ah, oh, the car's broken. Okay, so apparently to fix it, you just do Control R, which is like a hard reset. Okay. So yeah, here we go. Ooh, all-wheel drive, we're getting a bit of four-wheel drifting going. Oh no. Oh, I'm so useless. Ooh. Yeah, it would be nice if the next, um, well, I know that actually the next update we've got is got, um, they're going to add a supercar and they're going to revamp the, the Corvette, the hatchback, Japanese hatchback that's in the game. So that's going to be quite cool. We might have variants a bit like this, like an all-wheel drive kind of sporty version. But it would be nice to have more European cars in the game. Um, there aren't too many, really. There's a lot of American and Japanese cars. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, damn it. The crash physics are pretty good, I have to admit. Here we go. Press E. We're going to fly. Oh, no. We're not. Oh, dear. So there does seem to be some issues with this mod still. Um, the car seems to just die and you're not able to do anything with it occasionally. But there are a few more variants to look at. So we're going to move straight on to the... Where is it? There it is. Right at the top left. The Special Edition. It's got black stripes and it's much faster than the stock. Okay. Oh, black stripes. Let's have a look. Yeah. I think, is this front wheel drive? Yes, I think it is. Wow, a lot of wheel spin. I think there's too many camera views. Oh no! It's that lack of anti-lock brakes is just absolutely lethal in some of these cars. Need to be driving more carefully. Wow, a lot of wheel spin. There we go, it's 50 km per hour speed limit down here, but we're not going to pay attention to that. We're going to use a handbrake around this corner. Oh! Wow, torque steer and everything. Ooh. So yeah, it is a shame that mods seem to break after a while in, the, um, in BeamNG when they're not updated. Oh my goodness. We've destroyed the alignment of the wheels now. We're going to crash into a tree. Boom. Oh, yeah. Right, just a few more to have a look at now. Um, we've got the Sport version, which is a stiffer suspension, all-wheel drive, quick ratio steering, and turbocharged 1.2-litre engine. Now, I would suggest this is based more on, like, a Renault 5. The wheels suddenly look more like a Renault 5. But it's got a turbo. I'm a big fan of turbos. This is pretty quick. Oh, and it handles well. Have we got anti-lock brakes? No. Will any of them have anti-lock brakes? I doubt it. In 1990, you know, oh, that engine noise is kind of flicking between left and right ear. It's not perfect, is it? Ooh. See, yes, that is an issue with the car, not the uh, video you're watching. Ooh. Too many camera views. My goodness. There we go. Down a second. Ooh. No. Oh, wow, the... The brake lights just popped out. Looked like a cool road. We should go back up there. We should go back up there in the rally variant I just saw. The rally with Stig. So here we go. The last one we're going to have a look at today. The rally with Stig. That was the Charmand 1104B. This rally variant is called the Vault Demon. With grip all tyres. Look at this. What does it say about the rally one? Anything special? Designed for rough roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a roll cage. And we've got the Stig on board. So, let's go up this road and see how it handles. Oh, it's quick. Wow. Yes. Okay. You can imagine driving this around here. Perfect car for a rally. Handbrake, handbrake. Oh, the handbrake didn't quite help me there. Damn it. 
got mud flats, which I love. Oh, handbrake, yes, that was not too bad. I tell you what, actually, the um, turning circle doesn't seem to be amazing, which is a bit odd. Or a little hatchback. Oh, oh, come on, come on. You can always cheat and just press E, though. So yeah, this was a French ha hatchback that can actually fly. Um, it's pretty interesting. We've got all-wheel drive and it's struggling to get us up there. But um, let's, let's cheat and use E to get up this hill. See what happens. So from me, in Beam and G Drive with the Charmand 1014B, please come and recommend me more mods on the Discord server. There's a suggestions channel and you can join that server from the link in the description. Um, also, check out my channel memberships from the join button below. From as little as $1.99 per month, you can get access to exclusive videos among many other perks. And yeah, if you like the BeamNG content, make sure to like and subscribe. So thank you much for watching. That was a cool mod. Link in the description if you want to go and check it out. And I will see you soon for some more simulator oh, <laughs> adventures. I think, I think I broke the game. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more.